I'm Mike Sullivan. Today, three things that you can do to improve your golf game that require no skill whatsoever. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the grip. Probably the first thing that any golf instructor sees when a new student comes along is, is gonna be the way the player grips the club. And all too often, we see a left hand grip in particular, or a top hand grip, I should say, of uh, the golfer with holding the club with their thumb right on top of the shaft. And if you take a look at my hand here, you can notice that none of this logo is visible to the camera. And when I look down at my hand, I can see no knuckles at all on my left hand. And this is a very intuitive way for people to, to grip the club because as they walk around, their hand kind of hangs right by their, by, by their side here. However, this grip is going to really encourage an open club face and encourage slices. One of the reasons is because when we do hit a good golf shot, our hands lead that club into impact. And if you can take a look at that club face, you can see that club face is opening when I get into a good impact position. So what we do is we ask people to strengthen their grip. What that means is they're going to take their top hand, rotate it on top of the club a little bit, and we're going to rotate it so that this V here between my thumb and my forefinger points back towards my back shoulder. When I look down, I can see one, two, maybe even three knuckles visible to me on my, on my hand. Our other hand, our bottom hand, or our right hand for right-handed golfer, will go on the club so that the palm of the, the, palm of the hand matches up with the club face angle. And what we'll see there is we'll see the V between the thumb and the hand there pointing up near our chin when we've got a good right hand grip on there. So just by getting really this left hand a little bit stronger position is going to help the player get that club face closed. Good impact means more of a square club face. So tip number one to improve your golf game without adding any skill factors is learn to grip your club with a little bit more of a strong grip. So you've got your nice strong grip on your club there and now we want to make sure that you're lining up the right way so that when you do hit a good shot obviously the ball will go towards the target. So one thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set up some alignment sticks here as you can see and, and one of the things that I'll do with a new student oftentimes is I will ask that person to place an alignment stick on the ground in front of their ball in line with a target. And I'll ask them to do this without telling them how to do it and how to line it up. And then I'll say, okay, I want you to really do a good job with this and I want you to do such a good job that you know it's gonna be correct because if it's wrong, you're gonna to have to pay me a dollar. And then what happens is the player gets behind the target line, starts really eyeing up where he's going with everything or she's going with everything, and she, they know intuitively that they need to get behind the ball to have an idea of where the actual target line is. They know that they cannot come to the side of the golf ball and figure out their target line. Yet when people play golf all the time, we see them just walk up from the side, put the club down, look at the target and swing away. Usually when people are doing this, they're lining up a right-handed golfer. They tend to line up too far to the right. I guess they sense that they get their shoulder pointed at the target or something. Um, but in any event, they line up to the right they end up also having this golf swing with an over the top, out to in type swing path. Uh, so you couple that out to in swing path with the weak grip that they started with and you've got a real big recipe for a slice. So what we do is we put one line or one stick on the target line directly. This other stick is parallel left to my target line. The reason I do that is so that when I set up to my shot, I can look down and see that my club face is in fact lined up to the target because it's on the target line and I can see that my feet are equidistant from this second line. This isn't all that tough to get proper alignment with a, with a short iron, but when you get to a driver and you get way back, it really does help to have that second, that second stick down there. Okay, so we've got a good grip, usually a stronger grip. We've got alignment sticks to help us with our alignment and the last thing is gonna be our posture. We see this all the time, people walk up to the ball, and they will just kind of slump from the, from the back here. Their, their, their spine is curved. The problem with that is that in order to turn our shoulders and our hips to make a good golf swing, we need our vertebrae and our discs to be lined up. We need a neutral spine angle. If we don't have a neutral spine angle and we can't turn, we end up with a golf swing that's got a lot of 
lift to it. We've got a lot of reverse pivot to it. So in order to hit really good golf shots, in order to develop your game, you've got to have good posture. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to take the club, put it upside down in my right hand, right behind my back. And then with my other hand, my left hand, I'm going to hold that club right on my, right on my spine. My microphone thing's in the way a little bit. Lean my head back. Now I'm in a neutral spine angle. Bend me from the hips. I'll then go ahead, let my head come down, and let my right arm hang. From there, I'll put the club down, my other hand down to meet, and now I've got good posture and I can look in the mirror and see that I've got a nice neutral spine angle. Now when it comes to setting up to the ball, I'm just going to move my feet a little bit at first as I learn this so that I can maintain that relationship of neutral spine angle, arms hanging straight down. I'd also like to have the butt end of the club pointing at my belt buckle, and I'd like to have the shaft forming a 90 degree angle right through my spine. Okay, so now I'm looking again, I've got a mirror back there, I can look back and see my posture looks pretty good. And now I'll go ahead and hit my practice shot. So I know I've got a nice, slightly strong grip, good alignment, and good posture. So there you have it, three things that you can do that really require no skill that can definitely help to improve your golf game. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to hit the little thumbs up button for a like. Also, if you subscribe to our channel, each time we do produce a new video, you'll be notified by email.